Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Wednesday, so it's another what I eat in a day. I have a super fun video for you today. Lots of Palmer and the dog footage. I have a really good dinner recipe, very low point, but very indulgent, plus all of my other delicious food throughout the entire day. So if you're excited for another what I eat in a day, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. I do a what I eat in a day every single Wednesday. Down in the description box, you're going to find my nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend taking advantage of this service just so you know where you should fall every day to see the most success. I also offer 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. If you want to chat with me one-on-one, -on -one, I'd love, love, love to chat with you. Also down in the description box are links and discounts to everything I shared with you today, as well as all of my other favorite things and my Facebook group. Definitely come join us. I do lots of fun special things just for my Facebook group. So head on over and join us there. So we have a what I eat in a day to do lots of good food and a great dinner recipe. So let's jump in. For this morning's breakfast, I'm going to be using the Heat Box Pro. This is essentially a portable microwave. You can cook your food, reheat your food, and even keep your food warm. This is very, very nice for people who don't have access to a microwave. It's 100% leak proof. It has patented heating technology. It's all controlled by an app. It has smart temperature control and timer, and it even tells you when your food is ready. You can simply download the app either on Google Play or or in the Apple App Store. Apple App Store. So the heat box is a very sleek, modern looking device. It is about the size of a bento box or a very small lunch box. There is a $5 code included with my heat box. I'm going to put it here on the screen if you'd like to screenshot it or write it down. Of course, it comes with the user manual as well as the heat box itself. It's very, very nice looking, very heavy duty, high quality. There are several parts to it, including the charging cord, a removable inner pan. This is where you actually Actually put your food items to reheat it and then of course the dark gray is the heat box itself it simply plugs into any standard outlet so that makes it really easy and it includes a recipe book which this morning I'm going to make the strawberries and cream but I'm gonna do blueberries and cream oatmeal recipe out of the heat box so I can let you know if it actually tastes as good as if I cooked it on the stove there's a nice divider for the box as well if you wanted to cook or reheat more than one item so this is everything that comes with the heat box. So let's go ahead and get ready to make some breakfast. So first I'm going to remove the pan. Now, if I wanted to take this with me, it does come with a lid that seals on all four sides. It is leak proof. So you can take this with you once it's warm or put your food in here to warm up on your lunch break or whenever you're ready to eat. So either way makes it easy. So I'm going to make the oatmeal with some almond milk, some quick cooking oats, some pure vanilla extract, and I'm gonna go ahead and do blueberries. And this is the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. So I'm basically copying that recipe, just subbing blueberries for strawberries. So I'm going to add in one third cup of the quick cook oats, one third cup of water, and one third cup of any type of milk that you choose to use. I'm just using this forager cashew milk, one teaspoon of the Lakanto sweetener, and then just a big handful of blueberries. I would say that I used about a half of a cup or so to put into the heat box. This looks delicious before it even starts cooking. So to get it working, all you're going to do is put the lid on, snap it into place in the front as well as into the back, set your app. So 85 degrees Celsius is a 
is about 185 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a large portion. There's the option for toast and medium, and I'm going to do fast heat. You can also cook it or use gentle heat. So lots of options for warming up your food. All you're going to do is hit the start button. This light will turn green once it is preheated and ready to go. It says my oatmeal will be ready in about 33 minutes and voila, my food is ready. Very nice that the app tells you exactly when to go ahead and remove your food. The light will be green as it's cooking and when your food is ready. Simply remove the lid and look at that oatmeal. I can't wait to dig in. This looks absolutely delicious. And how easy is that, that you can cook a healthy meal on the go. So let's taste how this oatmeal turned out in the heat box. This thing is amazing, you guys. How perfect is this for taking to work? If you're someone that doesn't have access to a microwave or way to heat up your food, you can actually have it ready to go. Put that lid on, that to-go lid, heat it up on your lunch break, I'm obsessed with this. It would be great for camping. It'd be great for anybody who doesn't have access to warm their food up all the time. Or if you don't want to use a public microwave, this would be amazing. So let's taste this oatmeal. All right, cheers. It's cooked perfectly. It is so incredibly perfect. It's delicious. The blueberries are cooked enough that they've kind of popped. So they're nice and sweet. That teaspoon of sweetener was perfect. This is a fantastic breakfast and it is a total of three points. That's the only thing you have to count points for is the rolled oats because the vanilla, the little bit of almond milk and the blueberries are zero points. So highly recommend. I will link this down below for you guys, of course, with a discount code. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Troy actually can't wait to start taking this to work with him when he goes back after his medical leave. So thank you again to Heatsbox for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Hi. Hey, Palmer. Palmer. Oh, we're sidetracked because here comes Lola. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi, Ted. Hi, Ted. Hi. You guys going to play for a few minutes? Yeah? Palmer, go get her. It is morning snack time. You can see here that I have measured out 220 grams of cottage cheese. That's basically one cup. And I'm using the Good Culture Reduced Fat Cottage Cheese that I picked up from Target. I'm really upping my protein for my snack just because I had a lighter protein breakfast with that oatmeal, but it was so good. So again, one cup of the Good Culture. And then I'm also going to have a bottle of the Lemon Berry Synergy Kombucha. I got this flavor in my Imperfect Foods box. It's actually the only place I've seen it. So every time I order, I order them because it's so so incredibly good. So I'm going to have this. Now WW counts this as three points. I count it as one. And then one cup of cottage cheese as well. This little bowl of cottage cheese is 28 grams of protein. I'm going to share with you guys how to recreate the Starbucks brown sugar cinnamon oat milk shaken espresso at home for way less money, way less calories and way less points. You guys, it's easier than you would ever imagine that it would be. For the brown sugar cinnamon base, you're going to need brown sugar. This is the Sucrin Gold or the Lakanto Golden. Either one of those would work. Zero points, zero calories. You're just going to need a little bit of water, some ground cinnamon and some pure vanilla extract. And then you're going to need some oat milk. Now Starbucks uses a sugary sweetened oat milk. I just got the original from Oatly. It isn't sweet sweetened like Starbucks, but I think with the brown sugar syrup that we're going to make, it's going to be plenty sweet. So in the Starbucks recipe, each grande has two tablespoons of brown sugar as part of the syrup. So I'm actually going to do one cup, which is 16 tablespoons. So the batch of syrup that I'm making is actually going to make eight grande size of the shaken espresso. There's about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon in each grande espresso drink. And because the recipe I'm making is going to make eight drinks, I have two full teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Each drink has one half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So again, I have four full teaspoons making a total of eight drinks. There's one and a half tablespoons of water essentially per grande drink. So I have 12 tablespoons of water. So here's what makes up the syrup for the drink. Super easy, super affordable at home. 12 tablespoons of water, one cup of brown sugar alternative, your cinnamon, your vanilla extract, and that's it. You guys, we're gonna add this to a saucepan and get this on the stove. You're then adding everything to a saucepan and we're gonna put it on our stove over medium heat. So we're going to simmer this for about five minutes or until the mixture starts to thicken up. You can see that the mixture is thickening up. That's exactly what we want it to be, is a thicker syrup. Somewhere 
between a honey and a maple syrup consistency. And there is the syrup. So I went ahead and just added mine to a mason jar. Once it's completely cooled, we're going to pop on our lid. And then you can either stir this in the refrigerator or just in a cabinet if you're going to go through it rather quickly. I hope you're super excited for my take on the Starbucks brown sugar cinnamon oat milk shaken espresso, longest name ever. I've been using this now for a couple of days. I actually filmed this clip a couple days ago. You guys, this is better than Starbucks. It's way less calories, way less points. I am going to go ahead and pop all of the information here on the screen for you. I will be linking this recipe on my recipe website. I will include how to make it the traditional Starbucks way. That's going to equal about the same points and calories of Starbucks. And I'm also going to link my recipe, which actually makes it a lot less points and calories. One other thing you can do is substitute half of the brown sugar for real brown sugar and half of it for brown sugar alternative. So I I think I'm gonna go ahead and link that way to make it as well on my website. So there's three different ways to make the syrup or the base. Next time I do this, I'm going to make even more. So this time you saw me use a cup of brown sugar and baste all of the ingredients around eight servings. I think next time I'm just going to do double that and make 16 servings just to have it on hand and ready to go because it's that good, you guys. It is so, so delicious. So if you wanna save your money, make it at home, have it whenever you want it, highly, highly recommend. So here's my lunch for today. It's after one and I'm just now eating. I am just not very hungry for some reason after that cottage cheese, but my lunch is very simple. I have half of a cup of jasmine rice. This was actually left over from my meal prep on Monday. And then I just have a chicken breast here. It's very thinly cut. This was left over from dinner a couple nights ago. I just seasoned it with the Dax Ranch. I love the Dax Ranch because there's no added salt, but there is so much flavor. I love all the Dax seasonings. I will link them down below for you guys with 10% off. Not an affiliate link, just a discount for you guys to support them. They are a small business and their seasonings cannot be beat. And then what I did is I drizzled two tablespoons of this Good & Gather Mandarin Orange Sauce. This is so delicious. I'm obsessed with this sauce. So I did drizzle a couple tablespoons. It is a little bit high in points and it is a little spicy. It's really, really good though. And a little bit does go a long way. And I just got my verb bar in. You guys, I'm so obsessed with these bars. So many of you have reached out and said that you're equally as obsessed with them. They're delicious. They're 65 milligrams of caffeine, basically a shot of espresso in this bar. It is three points. It is so, so good. I love it as a pre-workout post-workout, or if you just need a little pick-me-up during the day, uh, this is a great option. And I actually have a Zoom call with my challenge group this afternoon. I'm working on editing videos, so I need a little pick-me-up. I'm going to link Verb down below with 50% off of their starter pack. Get a hold of that deal before it's gone. Definitely, definitely grab the 50% off before it's gone. So I'll make sure that that's linked down below. Peppermint Mocha Delicious is three points. So it is three points for the rice and two points for the sauce makes five points. And then three points for my little Verb bar, which is also kind of my dessert. So my lunch is a total of eight smart points and I'm still working on my gallon of water. Mr. Creeper here at the door. He's so weird, he always looks at us through the door. And Lola's so happy that it's sunny and she just loves to lay out there on her dog bed. So we're gonna take Palmer out, see if he wants to play a little bit before my Zoom call. Yay, good job, buddy. Oh yeah, you love sticks just like Diesel. You love them. Don't let him have it. Don't let him get your stick, bud. Oh yeah, go Diesel, go. He really wants it. He really wants your stick. You're not gonna let him have it, are you, bud? <laughs> you really want that stick, don't you, Palmer? I don't think your brother's gonna give it up.
Nope, I just finished my Zoom call. I'm gonna have a quick afternoon snack. I'm a little hungry, and I don't think I'll be carried through till dinner, so I'm just gonna have a two good yogurt. This is in the mixed berry, really delicious. Only two grams of sugar, nice thick yogurt with a good amount of protein, so that's my afternoon snack. For dinner tonight, I am making sausage tortellini soup. This is a 30 minute meal. Super easy, great for a busy weekend or weeknight. So for the soup, you're going to need some refrigerated cheese tortellini. You could also get the frozen tortellini. Just make sure you thaw it out before you start making the soup. Some kale, 99% ground turkey breast. You can also get turkey sausage or chicken sausage. I'm just going to season this up and that way it's zero points. Oregano and basil, chicken stock and whole milk, an onion, garlic, salt and pepper, and all-purpose flour. Now the original recipe also calls for cayenne pepper, hot sauce, mustard powder, which none of those I have. It also wants some red pepper chili flakes, which I probably won't add either, but I will post the original recipe along with this version on my website. So the first thing you're going to do is add your pound of ground turkey and your onions to a big stock pot. This is also a one pot recipe, and we're going to cook this down until the turkey is cooked through. Because I'm using ground turkey instead of sausage, I went ahead and added just a little bit of this poultry seasoning just to give it a little bit more of that sausage flavor. Once your turkey is cooked most of the way through, I'm going to go ahead and just use my garlic press here and press in four cloves of garlic. Once your turkey's cooked completely through, we're going to add in three tablespoons of flour and we're just going to let this cook down to get rid of that raw flour taste. Next up are all of our seasonings, starting with a good pinch of salt pepper, basil, and oregano. This is smelling delicious. So now we're going to add in five cups of chicken stock. I scraped off all those good bits off the bottom of the pan. We're going to bring this to a boil. I almost forgot, as your chicken broth is coming to a boil, we're also going to add in one full cup of whole milk. This is going to give us that creamy soup base. With our soup, I'm going to cook up some of the Trader Joe's mini French baguettes. These are pretty much the size of a breadstick. I'll show you guys when I get them on the sheet pan. I usually add a little bit of melted butter and some garlic salt to the top. So this is the size of them. So what I do is I melt a few tablespoons of light butter and some Lowry's garlic salt, season these up and pop them in the oven. Once the soup comes to a boil, you're going to add in two cups of tortellini and reduce the heat. After your tortellini's been in there, I don't know, two minutes or so, it's just gonna take a little bit longer to cook than the kale. I'm going to add in this entire bag of kale. The recipe calls for two cups, close enough. Allow the soup to simmer until the tortellini is cooked completely through. Well, you're foggy, there you go. And that kale wilts down as well. You can sub spinach if you'd rather use that than kale. 5.14 p.m., water done. This is my last glass. I'm just going to sip on that while I cook the rest of dinner. Alrighty, the sausage tortellini soup is done. This smells and looks delicious. This is a huge, huge, huge pot of soup. It makes 10 one cup servings. My breadsticks are in the oven, so what I'm going to do is serve this up and I'll be back to share points and calories. And here is dinner. This looks like a restaurant meal. I'm so excited for this. Again, the soup makes 10 servings, about a cup per serving. It is three smart points on the blue and purple plan and four on the green plan. Not bad at all. 117 calories, that's it you guys, per serving. So what I did is topped my soup with just a tablespoon of this all natural Parmesan cheese. And then I have one of the mini Trader Joe's breadsticks. So my soup is a total of four smart points. My breadstick is also four points because I do have to count for the light butter. Apparently somebody likes to attack yard tools. I told Troy, wait until he shovels this winter. <laughs> he even gets so worked up, he growls. <laughs> Here's what I'm having for dessert. These are those little fruit and yogurt cups that I picked up at Walmart. I'll open this up and show it to you guys, but it's only 40 calories and two smart points. It totally gives me Dippin' Dot vibes. It is so delicious. It's a great dupe for ice cream because those creamy yogurt bubbles, those make it nice and creamy with the fruit. 
delicious. So I'm going to have one of these for dessert. With my little Wyman's fruit cup, I'm also going to have one of these Peppa Pig cookie packs. There are two cookies in here. It is 80 calories for the little individual pack. And this is what these look like. I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. So this is my evening snack and we'll finish out my meal for the day. For joining me on another what I eat in a day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. Highly recommend that heat box if you're someone that has to warm up your food on the go. That thing is amazing. I can't believe how perfect my oatmeal turned out. I'll make sure it is linked down below for you guys. Also, don't forget to check out all of the other items in the description box, including other links and discount codes, nutrition coaching, my Facebook group. Head on over and join us there as well. Tonight's dinner recipe is on my recipe website, which is also at the very top of the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, of course, if you enjoyed it. And last but not least, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell next to it so you you never miss a single what I eat in a day or other video for that matter. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday and I'll see you next time. Bye.